All right, voicemails clear, hot list out, tasks for the day, schedule for the day, calculator, water, phone is off. We're good. Preparation and sales is everything. I take that back. Preparation in life is everything. The way you prepare ties in directly to the way you execute. And I'm going to break down the preparation for you today. There's four different zones that you could get into. The first zone is your me zone. When I say me zone, I envision things like working out in the morning, reading, walking, taking a nice shower, reading your goals, writing down your gratitude, all things that handle yourself in the morning, all things that help you warm up your engine in the morning for the day. That is your me zone. The second zone you have is your work zone. I envision things like the things I just talked about, clearing your voicemail, making a hot list, having some motivation in front of you on your desk. All these kind of things prepare yourself for your work zone, writing down your hottest clients of the day. Then you have your family and your friend zone. You know, after my me time and my work time, I want to spend some time with family and friends. That's a time you just sit and share laughter, share love, share stories, spend quality time with the people you love. And lastly, you have your passion zone. If you do have a passion, you want to always spend time on it so you keep yourself motivated through life. I envision things like writing if you're a writer, reading if you're a reader, doing music if you love music, doing this if you love this, motivating and inspiring, all sorts of things for passion. Now here's where the key comes in. The key is you want to gain maximum focus and maximum productivity in these zones. How do you build maximum focus and productivity in these zones? By staying directly zoomed and focused in on the task at hand, eliminating all distractions. Because when you eliminate all distractions, you get the most done. The best part of my me zone is when I'm an hour in my workout sweating and I'm deeply in the zone with my music on. The best part of my work zone is when I'm 10 calls deep on a sales call and I'm ready to handle any objection that comes my way. The best part of the family zone is when the phones are away, we're sharing great stories, everyone's laughing and together. The best part of a passion zone if you're a writer is when you're an hour or two hours deep in your writing, you're in a whole nother world. So you want to get deep into your zones, but you want to prepare for your zones. So the first thing I want you to write down is write down all the distractions that could happen throughout your zones in the day. And when you write down those distractions, I want you to write ways that you could avoid those distractions throughout your day. After you do that, I want you to write down your prep for each zone. What the prep will do is it'll clear your mind, it'll do all the things necessary to guarantee your success, and it'll allow you to get yourself focused for that zone. So for your me zone, what are two to three, four, five things you could do in the morning to get your body, your mind, and your soul right for the day, to get you happy, energized, and excited for the day? For me, it's gratitude, goals, working out, reading, a cold shower. Those kind of things get me ready for the day. Write down your prep for your me zone and then execute on that me prep every single day. The second thing is your work zone. When you get to your work area, I'll use sales as an example. What are some things you could do before you start your work day, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes before? What are things you could do to allow yourself to get maximum success and productivity that day? Well, I told you for me, it's clearing my voicemails, writing down my hot clients, scheduling my day hour by hour, knowing when I'm going to execute on what, having my water, having my lunch prepped for me for the day, my calculator out, my inspiration and my goals and vision in front of me is how I get ready for the work zone. For the family zone, friend zone, it's very important that you, you know, separate from your work and you enjoy that time with your loved ones. What do you do to prepare for that? Well, I'll turn off my phone, I'll shut down my computer, I'll be focused in that moment with my family. I'll even make events and make things happen so that way we're forced to spend time with our loved ones. And the last one is your passion zone. What are some things you could do to prep for your passion zone? Well, you could allocate some time throughout your day to get you ready for your passions. For example, if my family's going to be going to sleep around 10 and I'm going to be done with work and my knee zone and all that by 10 at night, maybe from 10 to 12 at night is my passion zone. And that's where I take off my phone, turn it off, put it away and get deeply into my passions and get some inspired work done. Done. So those are the four zones you have. I want you to prepare for every single zone and then I want you to write down the distractions you have throughout those zones and ways you could avoid those distractions. And the reason for all this, this is actually chapter one of my book, The 10 Keys of Sales, is preparation because preparation gets your mind right. And when your mind's right, that's the foundation. And when the foundation is right, you can start building the blocks on top of it. And if the foundation's not right and you're not prepping yourself and everything's sporadic in different zones throughout the day, you're taking a call from your family, you're working, you're going out to eat, you're coming back. There's no focus or productivity done. You got to be deep into a zone to get things done. So go deep in your zone, prepare for your zone, eliminate objections every single time, and you'll see a huge drastic change in your life.